Hello everyone, this is my YouTube channel, uh, Heart to Heart Invasive Cat Lab. To, in today's to topic, we are going to talk about uh, uh, the IABP. Uh, this is the IABP, model is CS300 and uh, the IABP machine. IABP is the short form of intra aortic balloon pump. In this video, we will just quickly review the usage and preparation of the IABP. So this is the model CS300 and uh, in today's video we will talk about how to get it ready for the procedure. First of all, this is a turn and off button as you can see, right? So turn on the machine from here, right? Make sure after you turn on the machine, make sure you have the heparinized line ready as per the protocol, right? With the pressure line. This is the helium gas cylinder and this is the connection for the tubing for the balloon and this is the sensor in input for the IABP. Uh, uh, Alright, these items but uh, make sure this is a purely sterile procedure but these items we have just opened just for the uh, study purpose and uh, as a simulator. So let's have a quick uh, review about it. This is the sheath, femoral sheath uh, kit. This is the puncture needle. This is the mini guide wire. This is the dilator of the sheath, and this is the sheath itself with the hemostatic valve. So uh, this procedure is performed uh, with Seldinger technique. Like uh, first we prep the sensor input cable, right? We need to connect it to the machine. On the back side, if you can see, here's a port for the sensor input. Make sure there's an arrow, so arrow goes to the arrow, like this way. If we insert it this way, it will not be inserted, it's wrong. So make sure this arrow is inserted into the arrow position, like this is the proper way now to insert. Helium gaze should be open after we connect the uh, balloon tubing. All right. This is now the IABP. So before we insert, make sure uh, it's flushed with the 10 cc heparinized line to flush the area, flush the balloon. Then after this, put uh, in, uh, connect the three-way stop cock to this connection. Once it's connected to female, the connection should be male to female, right? Once it's connected, make it tighten to avoid any. Uh, air leakage or gas leakage. This is the end port of the tubing for the gas which runs through this tubing uh, towards the balloon. So now after this connect this tubing to the back side of the machine. Here you can see this is the place this is the point where we have to connect it. So once you insert this way just try to connect it like this. Once it's connected now we are ready. After getting the machine ready, we have, as uh, earlier, we have mentioned that uh, the heparinized line should be ready. It, it, the total procedure is in the sterile way. So connect this pressure line to this three-way stop cock, right? And aspirate first. Either you can aspirate to avoid any air bubble. Then you can this way and flush it from the pressurized bag to remove the air then lock it now it's air free totally so we have the pressure on the IABP after this then now it's time to release the helium gas into the balloon this is the helium gas valve as you can see right we need to open this once we open now the gas is ready to be inserted so so after we connect all the connections properly, you will see the screen as here you can see the gauge for the helium gas in the cylinder, right? And here you will feel the pressure if it is directly connected to the patient, you will see the complexes pressure making in that sense so that we can uh, either trigger uh, it by the pressure or it will automatically be converted to the ECG. So, or here we can, if you want to put the connection on the ECG, first of all, you have to go to the semi-auto position. Now you can change the mode. 
you want to have this sensors on the ECG or the pressure it depends upon you so let's suppose let's put it on the auto now for a time being right here is for the pediatric right work on the auto for a time being so uh, you will close the pressure line and make it hold it for seconds to make it zero once the pressure is zero right you can turn on the pressure line again to have the invasive pressure this is for timing now on standby so before you do anything try to augment the balloon to the maximum it will be having augmentation rate is 1 is to 1 1 is to 2 depends let's put it on 1 is to 2 now for a time being right then after that when you put the start button it will ask once it's ready right then we'll now as you can see on the screen the IVP has started it indicates that IVP is inflating and depleting and here on the screen as you can show you on the simulator